Bubbly Steve is available for pre-order at shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. You've got less than a month to pre-order this 15-inch plushie. Check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about the Scarlett Johansson versus Disney debacle. I guess it's another daily dose of dismal Disney. Yeah, Disney should have kept their mouth shut. Yeah, Disney is being called out by Inc. Disney's been called out a lot lately by business publications. Now normally- okay when they do it. We call them out, we're just haters. Yeah, they don't care. This is the thing. Disney doesn't care if it's just some pop culture blog bitching about stuff. But when you've got Forbes calling them out mm -hmm. and you've got Inc. calling them out, that's when they start to care. Forbes called them out for their decision to fire Gina Carano the way that they mm -hmm. did. They said that that was just a really bad business move. Even if they decided to let her go, to let her go the way that they did, where she basically found out from the media mm -hmm. that she was fired. And now they're calling Disney out in Inc. Uh, for the handling of the Scarlett Johansson situation. So we're gonna talk about that. And they're also looking for arbitration, I guess, uh, behind the scenes. Oh yeah, they want yeah. that quiet now. They already shot their mouths off. Yeah, people were talking they might settle. Then you know, maybe they'll give her, throw her an extra $20 million, $30 million or something. But yeah, Disney doesn't want the bad press. We have been telling you guys for, God, how long have we been doing this? Three or four years mm -hmm. now? That bad press is holy water to the Walt Disney Company. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to get any kind of uh, you know reaction out of them, it doesn't matter what you do. You threaten legal action, whatever, they laugh. But you're like, we're going to run a hit piece in the New York Times. If you don't straighten your shit out, Mickey, then they freak out. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. So... But only uh, for people like the New York Times. Right. For people having a fit about the stupid Star Wars hotel being ridiculously expensive, they, they don't care. When it actually comes out and it's not worth $6,000 for two yeah, nights, it's not gonna be. Then, then I think you're going to see a lot of bullshit. This is what happened with the Galaxy's Edge, too. You know, the major media oh, they outlets. Tried the, 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 they were like, oh, no, you're, you're wrong. It was super busy. It's like, mm. It was so busy, guys. Oh, my God. Disney magic. All right. So we're going to talk about this situation before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 229,000 subs. Uh, thank you for the support. Greatly appreciate it. We talk about Disney, talk about Marvel, talk about comic books, uh, animation, whatever interests us that day. We've done a couple of videos on the Scarlett Johansson situation. Just in a nutshell, for those of you who are not familiar, uh, long and short is Disney released Black Widow on Disney Plus at the same time it released it in the movie theaters. Scarlett Johansson's contract, most of her money was going to come from a theatrical release. Mm -hmm. Now, before the movie came out on Disney+, Plus, she tried to renegotiate her contract with Disney to make sure she got what she thought was a fair amount of money or what was agreed upon. Disney refused to do that, and she claims she's been shorted tens of millions of dollars because people went to Disney+, Plus mm -hmm. instead of going to the theater, and now there's a lawsuit. Uh, now there's a lawsuit. In fact, it's so bad that they're even talking about uh, her being banned from Disney. Uh, yeah, well, I, I wouldn't be surprised by that because if you 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 fight the mouse and make them look bad, you give the mouse a black eye, they they, they do stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, Inc. called this out. They said Disney's response to Scarlett Johansson's Black Widow lawsuit is an example of the one thing no company should ever do. <laughs> Too late. No, uh, basically going back on your promise. And I was shocked. Um, they actually threw out her salary. Yeah, that everybody's like, that's a no-no. And that was, yeah, like the uh, the unions and everything were like, you don't discuss salaries mm -hmm. publicly, Disney. Like, what the hell is going on? Then there's like, supposedly there's friction between Bob Iger and Bob Chapek because Chapek is just like a numbers guy. He's not really a Hollywood guy. So he's like, ah, yeah, we paid the bitch 20 million. Go away. You got mm -hmm. enough. You got enough money. Go away. And everybody's like, no, 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 no. We need our we need our money for our executive bonuses. Yeah, right. Uh, don't give it to her. Uh, we got, you know, Christine, uh, whatever, the oh, yeah. CFO, she needs another McCarthy. 11 million. She needs another $11 million. Now, do I think these actors are overpaid? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. But I'm also like a contract is a contract. Yep, that's where I'm at. And, uh, you know, Disney does go out of its way sometimes to skirt around the uh, legality of, mm -hmm. you know, having to honor its contracts. And we've seen this time and time and time again with a lot of creators, you know, this is the first time though an actor's taken them to the task that I'm aware of. And oh, I'm like, sure it's taken it before, but we just never heard about it. Because they away. had it on a download. They didn't like go guns blazing out publicly like they did with this one. 
I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Yeah, so Johansson tried to renegotiate the terms of her deal, but they, they wouldn't do it. Uh, the blame reportedly lies with Chapex and experience. This, I think the Zygers throwing shade at mm -hmm. him. His failure to take Johansson's concerns seriously. They talked about the lawyers. They said there's no merit whatsoever in this yes, filing. Said that. And then Disney, you know, the lawsuit's especially sad and distressing. It's callous disregard for the horrific and prolonged global effects of the pandemic. And I still oh, love that, so as I've mentioned many, many times, Disney, who themselves have been caught repeatedly, you know, with not having much regard for the, the horrific and prolonged global effects of the pandemic as they do some of the stuff they do. Yep. So here's, here's where they go for the jugular. They basically said because Disney, by its examples, and this is just one of many examples recently. I mean, look at how they handled or how they dealt with their employees during the pandemic. They just mm -hmm. tossed them overboard like garbage. Mm -hmm. Um they said that they were damaging their brand by behaving like this. They've been damaging it by behaving like shit for a while now. Oh, yeah. So this is coming from Inc. Look, reasonable people can disagree over how much money is enough for a filmmaker or movie star. It might be easy to think that everyone involved is just being greedy, so it really doesn't matter. Disney certainly seems to want us to think that Johansson is greedy and motivated only by her own selfish interests. Maybe that's true, but honestly, that's not what this is about. Looking at this from the outside, the thing that strikes me the most isn't just that Disney didn't keep its word, which appears to be the case. What really strikes me is how poorly Disney seems to grasp how bad this is for its reputation. Sure, the lawsuit's bad, but the company's response is worse. Here's why. More than any other company on Earth, Disney has carefully built a reputation as a magical place. I've been telling you. That's the narrative that serves as the, the foundation. Yep, the foundation for everything. Movies, theme parks, television, toys, all that rests on Disney's masterful storytelling. Sure, it's a business, but more than that, it's the home of beloved stories. And that's why Disney Plus was so successful, because everybody wanted to, you know, right. jump Right, we've been on. telling oh, you this, but when we say it, we're just haters, you know. When they say, it, oh, it's gospel. In this case... Disney's response makes the company seem cold-hearted, callous, and vindictive. It peels back the curtain and reveals a much uglier story. No shit! Been telling you! Been telling you! No shit. Uh, the way you keep your promises to the people who work for you says a lot about whether you, you'll keep the promises to your customers. I can tell you the one promise Disney can make to you that they will not be lying about. It will always cost you more money. <laughs> so. Absolutely. But now, it's, it's interesting. Now... People are paying attention. What about all the cast members that were told for decades they were family? Mm -hmm. They were invaluable. You were part of the family. Gosh, you know, you're 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 our cousins. You're our sisters. Oh, hey, we're running out of money. Well, fuck you. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. We'll bring you back when we can. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. and then <laughs> yeah, maybe you know, and, will, maybe and now will. I don't know how about all the information, but. I had covered this on Pirates and Princesses. I think we did a video on it. Um, that there were people in California that they said they then they came back. They were supposed to keep their seniority, and then apparently they got hired back at the same rate new people got hired at. Things like that is going on as yeah. well. And I know they're understaffed. Now that's not all their fault because understaffing seems to be a, a, like a big pandemic across no fun intended yeah. across you know everywhere. So it's not like you know surprising that they can't get enough people. But, you know, there's a lot of really shitty things that go down. And I, and I love what they always say about their family, the Disney difference. And I'm like, you don't care about families when you're, you know, right, like a week up for their vacation, like upcharging everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you, they're after whales are made it very clear. And then this behavior, they could have negotiated, they could have arbitrated it, um, you know. And she probably did what she did and going, I'm not you know, making excuses, but she probably got it public because she knew that there was no way she was going to have any leverage unless she got it public because yeah. that's how Disney is. Yep. Now, it's probably going to cost her doing other things with Disney. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing. We, we don't know. But we know this ourselves because we used to have, like, media access guys and stuff like that until we decided to go out there and try to be honest and try to take a consumer bias and, and everything else. And when we did that... Guess where? Guess what? We don't get media access now, and we're uh, probably not gonna. Yeah, I know. With pirates and princesses, we can't even get response from Disney no. PR. So at we all, were, we were, anything. we were one of their. Oh, they get, we would bring them in and have them review stuff. Yep. So we knew that if we were honest, we, it was going to cost us, and it did. So I can't think that this no, that there's nothing that's going to happen as far as like her other deals with Disney that they're going to stay the same. I mean, there's going to be some kind of. Oh, you know, yeah. backlash I, on this. I have no doubt. I mean, yeah, and, and Mickey can hold a grudge for years. I remember hearing about uh, actors back in the 50s and 60s, if they went to other studios, like Walt would call them up personally and be like, oh, 
I'm really, I'm really uh, upset that you, you know, left our family and you went to go, you know, work for that other, that other movie studio. And they would be like, well, you haven't called me in like two years. Mm-hmm. Like, I couldn't sit around. But that's the thing. Like, that's the mentality is like, you worked for us once. You were part of the we family. Own we own you. Even if we're not using you, even if we're not paying you, you're supposed to sit around, twiddle your thumbs until we decide we need you. Mm-hmm. And if you, you know, go do something else, then you're, you're crossing us. And that's, you know. Uh, and that's kind of the the culture over there. And they did. I mean, I think they were more family back then, but um, there definitely is a a uh, well. I mean, it's not implied. There definitely is expected loyalty with Disney. You go through the training program mm-hmm. at the theme parks, and you're part of the family. You're part of the club. You're part of the Mickey Mouse Club. Keep your nose clean. Part of the cult. I mean, family. Part of the family. Family. You know, like the mob. Uh, but yeah, there there have been rumors that she will be blacklisted. They said there's nothing to indicate that. I. And with you, I disagree. I think that that Tower of Terror movie, you can kiss it goodbye. We'll see. Hopefully not. It, um, you know, but then if it isn't, it's only because she's a big star and everybody's watching. That'd be the only reason why they won't. And they'll be like, what, you hate women? Yeah. If she was a dude, they would definitely. Yeah. I'm sorry, but that's just, I'm just being honest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest. Because, yep, you know, uh, Johnny Depp, he's not coming back for Pirate 6. See? They're not formally, like, making a big announcement. Like, oh, Johnny Depp's fired. We're firing him like they did with Warner Brothers. But, like, they're just going to reboot Pirates and mm-hmm. he's not going to be in it. Mm-hmm. But they, they have no problem selling Captain Jack merchandise. Right, right, exactly. And eventually they'll just phase him out of the ride, too. They'll be like, well, you know, we're just moving on to a new era of Pirates with more women. So we're going to put yeah, more, see that more women in the ride see and that see that what goes. happens. Um, yeah, but they're looking for arbitration now. Uh, they'll probably wind up settling. That's what I've heard. Uh, multiple places said they think that they're going to wind up settling. And, of course, they want to keep as much of this behind the curtain. Yeah, but you guys already opened the curtain, showed yeah. everybody your, your junk. Now you have to, you know, finish the, finish it. You can't just, like, you know, oh, oh, no, nope, just, we're just kidding. We're going to go back here and not tell you anything again. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people are expecting a settlement. But I think part of that settlement will be, and this, this is what people understand with the lawsuits. Like, a lot of times if you settle a lawsuit and there's money involved, Part of that is you keep your damn mouth shut. Mm-hmm. Always is, especially with Disney. Oh, especially with Disney. Like they might, they might give you millions of dollars, but you will be told you will never be able to speak of this ever again. Mm-hmm. And so you have people that you know they were in the news for whatever, and then they just magically disappear, like the onward uh, oh, the van, van situation. Yeah. Or the people in the Skyliner, that, that big accident yeah. that went not long after it opened, and there were people actually, it was ambulances called and everything else. Never hear about that. It, like the next day, it all went away, and no one ever talks of it. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, what could potentially happen is this gets resolved, and then it's never brought up again, ever, mm-hmm. you know. That's probably going to happen. Just, if it suddenly goes away, you don't hear about it anymore, that means it was resolved. Absolutely. So, we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.